Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hi, nice to meet you. Today's video is going to be a realistic rundown of what a day in my life looks like as a marketing manager at a tech startup. If you've been following me for a while, you know back in March, I left my job at SoundCloud to work in health tech. So yeah, let's get started. Lately, I've been getting up pretty damn early. As you can tell, I'm not a morning person, but it's been nice to wake up early and be as productive as possible so I don't sign off too late. I also want to mention I am indefinitely working from home. Fun fact, my company was founded in April 2020, right when the pandemic hit, so we actually don't have an office. After making my bed, the first thing I do in the morning is drink water because I am parched and I make myself a quick breakfast. I've been getting really good about squeezing in quick meals before my coffee intake. I learned somewhere that drinking coffee on an empty stomach really messes up your hormones, so here I am, making myself a nice quick toast. The very first thing I do when it comes to work, I open Slack. At startups, Slack is the main platform that we use to communicate, make decisions. So surprisingly, I don't get a lot of emails. Before I dive into work, I wanna just share a little bit about what I do in marketing because working in marketing can mean so many different things. I am specifically under the growth marketing team as a lifecycle marketing manager. This means I am the owner and the developer of like communications with our customers members in this case and these communications happening through customer relationship channels which are emails push notifications sms texting in-app messages which are like pop-ups that come out when you open the app so ultimately through these thoughtful touch points my goal is to make sure our members are happy and that we are retaining lifetime customer value meaning they are on our platform or program for as long as possible because that is the ultimate driver of revenue. Okay, not the ultimate, but like a very big chunk of what drives the company's revenue. So where do I work? I work at a startup called Calibrate, which is a weight loss subscription company. We tie in wellness, metabolic health, science, all of that to tackle obesity. And our overarching goal is to have a society view obesity differently and that it is an actual medical condition versus people saying like you know you're eating too much or you're not exercising enough yeah after going through my slack messages i immediately opened the calendar because who knows how many meetings i have today so i have like four meetings today that i have to attend it's not bad then after that I'm not gonna be able to show my screen, but I love to check performance. For those of you in growth marketing know, the role, the team, they're very numbers driven. So it's super important to see how your team is pacing for the week. You know, if I have like a campaign that launched this week, I wanna know exactly how many subscriptions it drove. There's different components to this role, but it's a very numbers driven role, which is one of the reasons why I like growth marketing because you know you can quantify your performance, which is, nice because you know whether you're messing up or not <laughs> after looking at the numbers i love to just sort of write out a list of 
things I need to do. My team, we have proactive and reactive goals for the week and I just want to make sure I hit all of these goals or if I have any blockers, I want to write them down and make sure I'm like able to tackle it at least by next week. It is a Friday, so I'm going to check what new music is available. In the mornings, I prioritize making sure all of our scheduled campaigns of the month are pacing correctly towards the deadlines. We use monday.com as our main project management tool and for me personally, it's been helpful communicating with other teams on the statuses of the projects and using this platform to build out our content calendar for the whole year. Well, I have my first meeting of the day. It's gonna be a brainstorm session so I'm gonna get my sticky notes out. You know, in marketing, you're not getting good ideas only from yourself. Hey everyone. Hey everyone, thanks for shuffling in. We can talk through kind of what worked and what didn't. Um, and then we have like a series of brainstorming questions um, for specific topics that we want to discuss. Hey guys. One meeting down, I'm hungry, so I'm going to start making some lunch. It's just one of those days. <laughs> Whenever I make this pasta, I always think of my old coworker Daniele. He would not approve. This is not the Italian way. This is like honestly my go-to meal if I have to whip up something fast. Now that I got approval for this email, I'm going to ship it off to our email builder. And what that means is I'm just letting the email builder know that this is ready to be built. Okay. I definitely need a coffee after this. I guess like how messaging impacts a person's plan selection. I really liked your idea on like how we should like kind of like break it down more visually, the differences. It would also help members sign up for the correct program. That's what I've seen across the board. It is close to 4 p.m. And my last thing to do on this to-do list for today, what am I doing? Oh my gosh, I'm getting tired. I had another cup of coffee in not really hitting the same Ooh. Mm. yeah okay i gotta finish writing this brief brief for october and november strategy folks in marketing you know what a brief is it is essentially an outline of your marketing strategy i write a lot of these i'm hitting a wall but i'm gonna <sighs> yeah some of these like take so much brain power so like i want to make it as like nice as possible let me let me dig into this and work for the next two hours so hopefully I get some shit done. I'm like definitely stuck on it, but you know what? It's a Monday problem. I'm over it. Head to the gym, squeeze in a workout before I get dinner with Chris. 